Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout is a title bout in the bantamweight division. This will consist of five five-minute rounds. So please welcome your first fighter to the cage, Alperen Karabulu. You're watching Georgian Fighting Championship 23 and it's time for the core main event of the evening. The first of our two title fights here in Batumi, Georgia. This first fighter you see walking down to the cage from Sivas in Turkey, representing the Gure Fight Academy. Alperen Karabulut is 18 years old and already has an impressive record of nine wins and two defeats. He's here to represent Turkey and fight for the Bantamweight Georgian Fighting Championship title. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome his opponent to the cage, Gocha Chianitza! His opponent making his way down to the red corner. It's a huge support and applause. Representing Batumi Fight Academy, right here in Batumi, Georgia, is Gocha Chianitza. Chinese say 21 years old, waiting on the championship weight for this title fight, 61.2 kilograms, 170 centimeters tall, with a perfect professional record, four fights, four wins. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is a GFC title bout in the bantamweight division. Now let me introduce your fighter in the blue corner. This fighter is 18 years old. He weighed in at 61.2 kilograms. He stands 165 centimeters tall and has a professional record of nine wins with two losses. Representing Gure Fight Academy from Sivas, Turkey. Please welcome Alperen Karabulu. And now welcome his opponent in the red corner. This fighter is 21 years old. He weighed in at 61.2 kilograms. He stands 177 centimeters tall and has an unbeaten professional record of four wins and no losses. Representing Batumi Fight Academy from Batumi, Georgia, Gocha Shinatsa!
Come on, we both know the rules. Listen to my command all the time. Protect yourself. If I say stop, you stop. Let's have touch gloves. Have a free fight. Georgian no, Fighting no, Championship no, 23. No, this is the bantamweight title fight between Karabulut in the blue and Shainitsi in the red. A touch of gloves and straight into a shoot is Shainitsi. He's got the double leg, he's got the takedown. He's made his intentions clear from the very start of this five five minute rounds. Trying to pull the wrist out. Well done getting to his feet is Karabulot. Again, the takedown. I think it, they hit one of the microphones at cage side there. A big boom as they drop down. And what you can see here, actually, is Karabulot on the bottom was trying to work his legs over to try and get the back. Trying to get that hook over. Shainitsi on top. Trying to hold on to that top position with a deep right on uppercut. Punching him with that left hand. Holding with the right. He switched that right hand onto the hip. And into the full guard now for Karabulot as this kind of settles the position. Shainitsi on top. Needs to posture up. His head's being controlled by Karabulot underneath. Well, haven't we seen this a lot tonight, Ian? The fighters in the guard have always had the head down close. I know it's hard to inflict pain and, and obviously cut somebody when the head is so close to yours. But that's what he needs to do, posture. Ground well, and pound can only be done with posture. This is better Strong, work powerful now. powerful ground and pound, that is. You can see Karabulo trying to overhook the arms, trying to pull him down close. Shining to see powers of punch into the body. Can he get that head clear for a sustained attack? Oh, nearly trying to get back to his feet there. Shainitsa controlling the ankles. Shainitsa could have passed if he wanted. Again, another fight, a comfortable to go into the guard. This is for a title fight, and we do have five five-minute rounds. Well, they've started at a pace that doesn't suggest that either wants to go five five-minute rounds. Nobody wants to go five five-minute rounds. Horrendous. <laughs> definitely, definitely not me. Passes well, through the half guard again. He could step through all the way. There we go. Side control. But will he stay in side control? This is good. He's, he's got the Dagestan wrist control yeah, yeah, from the Dagestani back. Yeah, that Dagestani handcuff. That's the one. <laughs> the Dagestani handcuff. Very hard to escape that. Yeah, nice. And oh, he's used that to get the back. back. This is good work here from the local fighter. On the back. Two minutes left, Ian, in this first round. I think he's finding it hard to get his hands. Oh, it's free. I thought it was he, because he had the the handcuff. He couldn't leave go. Now he's going to yeah, turn. Yeah, I think he flattened man. him down onto his own yeah, arm. Yeah, on his own arm. It was hard. He's going to try and work oh. for the armbar. Yep. Yeah. Uh, looking for the triangle there for a second, but you saw Cannibal got his arm back in. Finishing from the mount. You're going to win the tight line away, whichever way. This is strong. huge, huge Beautiful. punches. Ian, that's ground solid ground and pound. That is some real mean intentions. Two Look at hands this. Together. The referee quite he's, he's going to push off the cage. Him. Yeah, referee. He needs to be careful. He's giving him every chance, but there's nothing coming back in. Now the he's referee in could see. The referee could step in here any minute. Huge shots. There we go. That there we go. is a big First round of pound finish. Title fight. Gotcha Shainidze is the Bantamweight champion. A dominant first round performance from him. He had five five minute rounds if he needed them. He didn't even need one. Solid performance there against a good fighter. Here we see the replay. Gotcha trying to get the takedown, pulls the leg out. 
then powerful ground and pound punches inside the guard he took the back then mount and then start to force these ground and pound every single shot looking to finish brutal ground and pound from gotcha shine into here winning the co-main event After three minutes, 48 seconds of the very first round, we have a winner to referee stoppage to ground and pound and your new GFC Bantamweight Champion, Gusha Shinhadza. And awarding the belt is GFC Vice President, Rauli Tutoraoli, and Lasha Baramitsa, founder of the Tumi Fight Academy. Chevro <laughs> Chevy <laughs> Vistres, <laughs> Aram Khalod me Aram et chemi gugeli chemi megobari Rusna bolkwaze chkubabs da mindaram koela zalian khne dugul chemat irot da imedi maustrom bges ori kamri dautovet amad gis koela koela zalian didi madloba. Ladies and gentlemen, your new champion, Kusha Shiratsa.